Welcome to 1981. Let's explore this music program for the TI-994A computer, Music Maker. So music is the meaning of life because this program is 42 years old. So let's try loading music now from cassette. Okay, rewind cassette. It's rewound. Press enter. Press play. Enter. And it's reading the cassette. Now I turned on the PEB box to use the 32K of memory because I think it needs memory as it reads this cassette. Okay, you could hear that tone, that's the carrier tone, and then you're gonna hear some data. So this will take three and a half minutes. I'll come back when it's done. Oh, that's nice. The data is okay. So stop the cassette and press enter. And we've loaded eight measures of music. Let's proceed. Function six, and let's play this masterpiece at speed 30. All voices. And trans don't transpose it now. We'll have fun with that later. From one to eight. That's the masterpiece that I edited before and saved to tape. Now, how did I edit that masterpiece? Well, let's go into edit mode and uh, let's edit at speed 15 because I remember that's what I saved it starting at measure one and that is edit mode and you edit with this TI joystick which is called a wired remote because there is a wire. Okay. And it is an early mouse, so if TI had visited Xerox Park, they would have made a mouse. Now, why isn't it working? Because I'm using the wrong joystick. It came with two joysticks, and this is the one I need. Okay, so look, I'm moving my cursor with the joystick, and I could pick up a note, but I want to really first set the voice. I want to draw a voice too. And I actually want to proceed and advance to the measure where the second voice comes in. So this is measure two. Here's measure three. So when it's doing Brother John, I want voice two to do Are You Sleeping? So I pick up a quarter note and put it down here. And it shows me on the bottom how long that quarter note lasts. So if I try to put notes over here, it won't let me. I have to put it exactly on the uh, mark. So here's the A, whoops, I made a mistake. So now I hold the button, I press it a few times and eventually it cancels out that note. Now let's put an A, a G, are you sleeping? Okay, and this is where it goes. Okay, let's play that. Play all. Okay, so I could audition just. Okay, and now let's hear the two part harmony. Okay, so let's just proceed. Okay, so we know that we're gonna um, add it there. Now here's morning bells are ringing, and what is it? It's playing Brother John on voice two at this time, so we have to add the Brother John, and we have a quarter note, so, and we're doing voice two, so let's draw a bra. Okay, this is early programming, because it's Brother John. And now, yeah, B-R-O-gramming, look it up, okay. 
And now we put John up here. Brother John. And here's where the third voice comes in with Are You Sleeping? So let's go to voice three. Okay, draw voice three. And now we have to do the Are You Sleeping? Are you? Ooh, we have a conflict. Why doesn't it let me? Oh, that's bad. Look at that. So a few bugs here, but I just erased that. Now I should be able to, I'm drawing voice three, I should be able to put that, but I guess it'll conflict. And look at that, are you sleeping? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put it on the bass clef uh, to have fun with that. So this is exploratory music. So kids could have a lot of fun with this. Let's proceed. No, I want to play it. Okay, let's play just voice three. It might be nice to do uh, the whole voice three in the bass, but let's just hear how it sounds. Pretty cool, but let's do that. Let's put the voice in the bass. So can I stop this? Uh, yeah, can I exit? I think I'm trying to figure out, yeah, okay, so you press it, like move up, press it if, like three times maybe. All right, I could read the manual. Now B flat, uh, okay, it's uh, a G, so it's here. And let's put this one here. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, if you press the button three times, it erases it and put it down here. Now let's play it. And our masterpiece. Okay, so when you do something like this, you probably want to save it to tape again. And do you want to overwrite your previous tape? Or do you want to fast forward your tape or use a second tape? I think you're going to want to have like a grandfather, father, oh yeah, look at me, uh, a, a grandparent, parent, and maybe sibling tape. <laughs> back up your tapes and uh, I'm trying to figure out a good way of recording the tapes to hardware uh, to wave files I haven't gotten it working too well yet because the disk drive does not work it's very temperamental in the PEB box Okay, today we're going to explore a recently preserved music education program. Yep, my caps lock is down. Play middle C on the synthesizer keyboard. Well, what if I get that wrong? That's not a C. Okay, our MIDI is set up. So this required a Passport MIDI interface in slot two. And here's the company that made this software. They made a lot of music software. One moment, please. So it's picking random keys. And if you want to, you could listen to this all night long. Okay, let's press here the next one. Okay, let's hit return. Press return. Type in your name. Okay. Uh, and that name is not enrolled. Uh-oh. Well, let's uh, press return to enter my name. I have to put a password. So multiple people could use this. Oh, my password is visible. Everybody write that down so you could hack me. Ha, ha, ha.
Oh boy, where have we come from? Okay, so here's your menu. Let's read some instructions. Playing keyboard scales will require knowing key signatures and keyboard fingerings. This program will help review scales and keys, plus practice scale fingerings. Some scales are easy to play with standard fingerings. Others require special right hand or left hand fingerings. These programs can be used to practice accurately in accuracy and speed, but they don't have a video camera. They won't tell you if your finger is wrong. Each section will rate your abilities and knowledge. A Hall of Fame lists the top scores for the final quiz. Help is available in each section by pressing H. So these were the days when your performance on computer software did not automatically transfer to your permanent record. To use the program, you must operate the computer key set and the synthesizer keyboard. So the computer doesn't have a keyboard. The synthesizer has the keyboard. Set the keyboard in front of the computer key set so you can use both without moving away from the computer screen. When asked to play a key on the piano keyboard, the computer will wait until you press a key on the keyboard. A musical symbol will appear on the computer screen to remind you. Take your time because this program cannot keep up because it's an Applesoft. Okay, you may set the synthesizer to any sound combination you choose, a piano or vibes. Okay, try several different sounds and adjust the volume level. Okay, the computer key set is used to answer questions that cannot be input at the synthesizer. So return moves forward, H gives help in sections two through four. Escape goes to index and control reset reboots disk. Press escape for the lesson index. I pressed return and it got me here as well. All right, so let's go to major scales. One moment, please. On my floppy runs, major scales. Press return for the drill or escape for the index. Two types of major scale fingerings are used with both the right hand and left hand. Select the hand you want to practice. Okay, let's try the right hand. And level one. Okay, so standard fingerings are all the same. So it should be pretty easy to get through this one because it's always one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now play it. An A major scale. Okay. Okay, C major, same thing. See, I'm typing too fast for the computer. Okay, now play. Okay, I want you to play it exactly on the line. Okay, it's not grading me yet. E major, four sharps. Okay. So, okay, and now let's play E major. Okay, B major, five sharps. Okay, same thing. Whoops. That was my keyboard finger slipping. B major. go through the bass cliff in the left hand as well. Okay, D major, same thing. But your kids may not know that. Yeah, these videos are not for kids. These are for adults who want nostalgia or teachers who want nostalgia for the good old days. Okay. Okay, G major. Yeah, if you're gonna watch this with kids, please screen them in advance. All done, press return for more practice. Okay, so right hand uh, level two, just to show you what that's like. 
Okay, F sharp major. Oh boy, that starts on the two. Uh, then it goes to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so we don't think in numbers once you're playing for years. We just it will read numbers on the page. Now B flat, it's on a two. And then uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. muscle memory and it's logical sense of where your fingers are closest to the key a flat major so now um, I think it's a two now it starts on a three okay three four one two three four one two three okay a flat starting on a three yeah okay Yeah, the middle finger, it makes sense logically when you go to the keyboard. Okay. E flat major starts also on a three, I think. Three, one, two, three, or four, one, two, three. Okay. And E flat. Let's see. Thinking in muscle memory, not in numbers. Okay, F major. Uh, that's uh, yeah. Four. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but then the C is, has to be a one, two, three, four. Okay, F. All right. And D flat major, five flats. Is it a four? Four, no, three, no, two. Okay, guess. So that makes sense. Two, then one. <laughs> Finger zero. Yeah, one. Okay, so D flat, E flat is a three, and then your F is your number one again. Four, five. I'm guessing here. I'm getting it wrong. All right, two, three. Okay, D flat is here. Okie dokie. All done? Yes, I'm done. Let's uh, escape to the index and see what other things we can learn in this. Let's give you an overview. That learning to play music requires hours and hours of using software. Right? <laughs> Natural minor. All right. Yeah, I mean, this is the basic theory that kids in high school need to learn. I'll just do the standard. All right. D natural minor. So it's fingering of the minor scales. So um, D will start on one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and they're all played the same. Wanted a Dorian scale. That's what the doors used in their music. All right. All right, let's escape out of this because these are all one, two, three. Okay, it's nice that you could escape and then you could practice the left hand and level two. A flat natural minor. Oh. Yeah, what makes sense here? Well, that's a two, three. Oh, wow. Starting on a, yeah, it is a three. Three, two, one, and then, yeah, so four. No? Three, two, one. And then, uh, so three, two. What do you want? Four, three. All right, what do they want here? Three. Now play. Okay, A flat, but down here. 
C flat. Yep. Try that again. G flat. Yep. Five, seven. All right. So I need to use this program for a few more hours before I get comfortable demonstrating it. Let's see, what kind of help do you get? Special left hand fingering. Okay, more help. Oh, this is nice. So the keys of C, G, D, A, E, they give you the left hand and the right hand, but the special ones are for F, B flat, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. Okay, so memorize this chart and then or take a print screen, take a photo of it, and then put in all the correct answers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how you can cheat these days. F sharp natural minor. Uh, D, no, it's an F sharp. All right. Uh, on the, uh, let's see. I said I'll start on the three. Three? Four. Why on four? Okay, four, three, two, one. And then. Yeah. Okay, so how did you get back down there? Okay, so then three, two, one, two. Three, two, one. And F sharp. Three, four. Ooh. That's weird. So unless you spend hours playing that, you won't memorize it the right way. Okay, what about a harmonic minor? Okay, let's do right hand. Okay, level two. G sharp harmonic minor. Okay, so that's a double sharp on the seventh. Okay, G sharp harmonic minor. So that would be an A flat scale. So I have a two, three, now, you want it on the three, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three. Okay. Play it. Play it with the right fingers. It's a lot of muscle practice. It's like yoga. All right. Take a break from that and let's do the final exam. All right. Let's see here. Final quiz. And let's see if we can get into the Hall of Fame. Final quiz. Nice font. Having reviewed both your scale fingerings and right hand and left hand scales, select a quiz. Let's do level three. Okay, B major. Now you're being timed? No, you're being evaluated. Play the scale starting on B from the left hand down here. Da -da -da. Now that would 
be a good artificial intelligence project to watch your fingers and evaluate you. Okay. And that'll make you a lot of money if you get it right. All right, F sharp major. Now you can't make money anymore. F sharp major. Two. F sharp major. D sharp. Oh, where am I? Play the scale. All right, F sharp. That's an E sharp. Oops, I failed. Try E sharp. Okay. Okay. There goes my score. All right, what's next? Let's return to continue. All right, let's see if I could fail this. E major. Okay. See, I am too fast for the MIDI. It's not recognizing my notes. I have to play slower. C natural minor. So you have to adjust yourself to the computer back in the day. A flat major, bass flat, down here. It's nice when the notes pop up like that. The, the fingerings pop up. Okay, B major. It's a good research question. Like when you're, if the piano fingerings popped up, would people play piano better? I don't think so. Very good. G harmonic minor. Hoo hoo. I played it. There you go. Oh, I'm back to 91? How did I do that? My score goes up over time? Oh, it's a moving average. Okay. You're too slow for me, Apple IIe. MIDI is hard to program. I'll tell you that. Okay, C sharp major. Okay, is it over yet? D flat major. Okay. I'm just slow. I, I'm fast. Yay, save me in the Hall of Fame. I made the Hall of Fame. One moment, please. Kansas Fester, 91%. I could delete myself. How nice. All done? Yes. Return for another quiz? Has anybody ever picked that option in the world? If you have, send $5 for a certificate. Okay, we have had fun today. Yes, we have. Quit, and it reboots the disc. All right, start at measure one and end at measure eight. So you have to know how many measures, and that's why it tells you up front. And what happened? Is that a bad? Didn't work. Thank you. 
Thank you.